Precision and accuracy. Accuracy is how close a measurement comes to the actual or true value. That's what accuracy is. And we are always shooting for accuracy and precision, which we'll talk about in a second. So accuracy, we're all familiar with it. Um, we all maybe have a, a bathroom scale that we might step on, and we're not exactly sure if it's accurate. You might get on one scale that says you weigh 700 pounds, but then another scale that says you weigh 100 pounds. So I would assume that this is not that accurate. So we're looking at accuracy as the true value. And again, it does depend on the measuring device. If you made this scale in fourth grade science class, well, you know, you, you probably have a reason why you're not getting the true value. So what it does is it compares measurements to the real value, like getting a ball in a basket or the actual length or weight of an object. And uh, we'll give you an example of that in a second. Now, precision is how close a series of measurements are to one another. That's consistency. It describes how carefully and accurate exactly you make your measurement. If you are measuring your height, you use a ruler that you made. It might be accurate, but it might not be. But if you're measuring the same thing all the time, you're precise. Close to the true value, or the actual value, that's in the basket for this example. Here we're all over the place. We're not accurate. We want to be the true value, which is the basket. And we're not precise. We're not consistent. So we're all over the place. Neither accurate because we don't have the true value of the basket or precise. We're getting different measurements every time. Now, this is an example where it's precise. So in this example, we have this person is getting the exact same value over and over. And it's precise, but it's not accurate. It's not where it wants to be. It's not the true value. We're not going here to the basket. So this could be um, an example of having a precise measurement is if you have a faulty scale, for instance. Uh, it could be 100 pounds off. It could be 5 pounds off. You could be precise every morning. You get up and you measure 700 pounds, it says. But uh, we know that's not true. But every morning it says 700 pounds. So it's consistent, it's precise, but it's not accurate. Accurate and precise. This is what we want to see in science. We want to be both accurate, getting the true value, and precise in the same place over and over. That's the tools we want to use. That's the measurements we want to use. Accuracy and precision. So we want our measuring tools, whether it be a balance, a scale, a graduated cylinder, or a ruler, to be accurate, close to a true value, or the true value, and precise. The same thing over and over. So we really need to be careful about that. Now when we get, when we get into significant digits, we're going to see uh, why it's so important that were so accurate and precise because when we start using calculations, we don't want to have our imprecision or inaccuracy throw off our results. Okay, so let's look at some examples of accuracy and precision in the lab. Here we have a graduated cylinder and this has graduation marks up from 1 to 10, so every, this is accurate to the milliliter. So to 1 milliliter, this has accuracy. Whereas this, this is a 1,000 milliliter graduated cylinder, but it's only accurate up to 10 milliliters. So you, your accuracy can only be to 10 milliliters with this graduated cylinder, as opposed to this one, this would be accurate to one milliliter. Now this little beaker, this tiny little beaker, this is a 10 milliliter beaker, but it's really not very accurate because I'm not exactly sure where 10 milliliters is. So to even say it's accurate to 10 milliliters would be a stretch 
because I'm not sure exactly where that 10 milliliter mark is. So if I wanted to measure 10 milliliters, I'm not going to use a beaker. I want to use a graduated cylinder like this that has, it's much more accurate. Now I can be very precise with this. I can each time have the same value measuring um, 10 milliliters, or what I believe to be 10 milliliters, every time to the same level. That's precision, but accuracy would be more on this line with this graduate cylinder. Now, another example, we have a, a metric ruler here. Okay, and this is accurate. This meter stick is accurate to the millimeter. And this is actually much more accurate than a your customary English system. You don't have as much accuracy with this. You have much many more lines here. Shows you much more accuracy. And we've all measured uh, things probably you know by counting off feet with our, our shoe or something. So let me there it is. Um, now that's you know if I have a size 11 and a half, it's not quite 12, but I can put one foot after the other and. I can be precise. Every time I can be precise, but I wouldn't be very accurate to the actual foot. So I can be somewhat in the ballpark. Also, you know, this is about half a meter, and if I don't have a meter stick, I might measure with this. But if I know this is half a meter, that's all the accuracy I can be. I can be accurate to each half meter. That's 0.5 meters is the accuracy I can get. With the meter stick, I can be accurate to the 0 0.001 meter as opposed to the 0.5 meter. So when we're using our tools, it's very important that we uh, look at how accurate it is. And then when we do our calculations, it's very important that we look at how accurate our science tools were, were in determining those measurements. We'll get much more into that when we get into significant digits.